Scott Robertson here, Robertson Drum School. This is going out to Scottish pipe band drummers who are actively playing in solo competitions at the Highland Games. If you have ever reviewed your results at the end of a contest and asked yourself, what was the judge looking for? Today I'm going to give you an opportunity to gain some perspective on the judge's decision-making process. I am going to play for you three examples of what I hear when I am judging grade 4 two, 4 March competitions. After I play, you be the judge. Come up with a prize list and some comments supporting your decision. If you missed You Be the Judge Part 1, the link is in the description below. Competitor number one says, I'm going to play King George V's Army. One, two. Competitor number two says, I'm going to play Athol and Brettlebane Gathering. One, two. Competitor number three says, I'm going to play Duncan McGinnis. One, two. Okay, so who did you have first, second, and third? Remember, you're playing a dual role, judge and adjudicator. The adjudicator comments should support the judge's decision. If you like, hit the pause button. When you come back, I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, I'm going to start off with what I consider to be the easiest part of this decision. Competitor number two is going to get third place, and the reason lies largely in the setting being played. It's not really well written. It doesn't fit the tune that well. But more importantly, it's unnecessarily complicated, and the technique required to play it exceeds this individual's abilities. Now, in grade four, likely the reason they've picked this is because their teacher has given it to them. So I realize that comments in a situation like this are being directed as much to the instructor as to the competitor. But it would take very little to uh, simplify a lot of this stuff and make it work much better. For instance, this rudiment has three flams. For a grade four competitor, that could be reduced to one flam. It would be much easier to play and it would sound much cleaner. So uh, I, I don't think I'm alone on this. I probably speak for a lot of judges, but we really don't want to hear you try and play something that's harder than what everybody else is playing that you can't manage. We'd really rather hear you play something that's within your grasp that you can manage and play well. So this decision is clearly between competitor number one and competitor three. Competitor one had, well, flawless execution, very good rolls, very clean flams, good drags, evenly spaced single strokes. The tempo was a little on the slow side, and there was no dynamics.
or very little dynamics. Competitor number three did not have particularly good rolls, mostly due to the left hand being bent back, and I would note that in the comments, that they should have better hand position and grip on the left side. Um, but competitor number three also played some very good dynamics and some nice expression. For me, the contest should not simply be a checklist of who did the least number of things wrong. I would likely give competitor number three first place because I like the dynamics and expression. Competitor number one would be second place with high praise for execution. And competitor number two would be third place. If you found this useful, please hit the thumbs up or leave me a comment. Keep practicing.